This is Do Not Get Married, part two. Well, we face a lot today um, in the dating world. Uh, the desire or the lack of desire to be married. Um, today, there are many, many questions that we go through because as a society, we do not trust each other. And you don't realize how many levels there are to trust. And we, we try our best to sift through all of those to find someone that we can deal with. They can accept us, we can accept them. Um, we don't ever fall in love. And the reason why I say that we don't ever fall in love, because I've, a, a very, very popular term these days is falling out of love. Did you actually fall in? Did you take that trust and give it to someone? We're always afraid, in, in, especially in the dating world, we put this persona out there. We try to show all the good and great things. And then later on the line, we get tired of displaying all the good things. And then the bad stuff starts coming out. We don't ever think it's okay to just be us. Be who you are. We think that we have to put this special thing out there so that you know people are accepted and 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 we fool ourselves into thinking uh, this is the kind of person I want to be so I'm going to display this when it is not who you are so it's very confusing especially with the divorce rate and everything that's going on the massive amount of affairs it's staggering but guys here's the thing do you or do you not believe that you can dedicate yourself to one person? The reason why what I just said scares you is because you have some trust issues. Some of them may be legitimate. Look at what we have to deal with. You marry somebody that you had no idea was the way that they were. So how do you deal with that? <clears throat> well, the biggest problem is, is you need to find someone that is willing to fall in love. When you fall, you reserve your rights, basically. <clears throat> you just go, this is who I am. This is exactly what I have to offer. And be honest. When I say that do not get married because this is just one of those things where you don't know this person. You don't trust this person. You haven't seen everything that you need to see. Why people wait? Why it is good to wait to find out? It's this reason right here. Everybody wants to take that massive risk and go, well, let's give it a try. Life is short, right? It's true. Life is short. How do you want to deal with this? How do you want to deal with your life being short? It starts with you. You have to be honest with yourself. It's very important that you're honest with yourself. Most people aren't. That's why we end up putting this persona out there. And it's very misunderstood. You want somebody to fall in love with you. How you do things, how you think, how you are. 
that's what's most important. But we always have this fear of that this person is never going to love who exactly who I am. That's not how it's set up. Someone that loves you, especially unconditionally, means that there are zero conditions to it. Now, it's finding that person that understands that kind of love that you drop and let yourself go and you fall in love. Is it safe? These days, it's not very safe. You have to be wise in who you choose. You have to. It is unbelievable the amount of affairs that have been going on. And what's the reason? Understand this. The only reason why any divorce can ever happen is because of pride. That is it. Nothing more, nothing less. Everything that happens within the marriage, whether it's finances, whether it is communication, no matter what it is, they all are categorized under pride. It's as simple as that. And most of the world today is trying to push you in the direction of being that way. You won't fall in love if you do that. You won't have a good marriage if you do that. There is no quote-unquote independence in marriage. This is why you probably should not do it if you want that independence. You are free to be who you are. Be that up front so they can see it and know it. There is tons more that I have to say about this. I really like it if you guys would tell me, yay, to keep going, or you're done. It isn't easy to accept these things, but this is the real truth. So stick around.